beautiful of people and welcome back to my channel. Hi, this is Advo and I'm happy you're here. So in today's video we will have a look at all the backpacks available in the game. The ones you can craft and the ones you can purchase in the in-game store. Now let's start off with the leather sack. As you can see the backpack has no special effect. It can be crafted using your basic resources and it is the very first backpack that you can craft in the game. So when you put it on it looks like this. It gives you five additional spaces to store your resources and your loot. And you can make it from some basic resources, which is the pine log, grass and pelt. Now let's move on to the next backpack, which is the large backpack. The large backpack has no special effects. When you put it on, you will get five more additional spaces. So now in total, you can carry up to 20 different items. Putting it on, it looks like this. Now let's have a look at the items that you do need to craft the backpack. You need a leather sack, some scrap metal, some leather, cloth, belt, and the gunsmith tools. Now I will show you where you can actually obtain the gunsmith tool. The rest of the items can be found from the loot and can be crafted, but the gunsmith tools you can only obtain from the airdrop or if you successfully complete the airdrop competition and you do get to the second place. So the first stop is River Village and we need to go see Wendy. Now don't forget to bring some caps with you. And then, of course, buy your spiked fences, your turrets, anything you need to complete the airdrop. Now, bear in mind, the green flare does not give you the gunsmith tools, so it is the blue flare. So start off with the blue flare if you are a lower level player. And then you will be guaranteed to get the gunsmith tools. So now that we have what we need, let's head on to the airdrop. So like I mentioned earlier, it is the blue flare, purple flare and the orange flare that will give you the gunsmith tools. So if you are a lower level player, just make sure that you start off with the blue flare as the green flare will not give you the gunsmith tools. So if you do compete in the airdrop competition and by the end of it you do get to the second place, the second place prize contains a crate and in that crate you will also get the gunsmith tool. Here I'll show you exactly what you get for getting to second place in the airdrop competition. So let's move on to the next backpack, which is the travel backpack. This backpack has no special effect. By putting it on, you will get 5 additional spaces, so in total you have 25 spaces to carry your items. Now this is what it looks like on. Let's see what we need to craft the backpack. So you need that large backpack, a thick cloth, heavy pelt, steel bar, the solvent can can be found in the airdrop and the gunsmith tool can be found in the airdrop too. Let's move on to the next backpack which is the hydration backpack. Now it automatically uses flasks and water barrels that you would have in your backpack. It also says it gives you a 20% bonus when quenching your thirst. Now when I used the backpack I did not find that it gave me any sort of boost so we might need to clarify exactly what they mean by giving 20% bonus when quenching the thirst. So this is what the backpack looks like on. You can make all of the legendary backpacks at the sheriff's office. So for the hydration backpack you require some filters which can be crafted. The can of blue paint can be found at the airdrop. Quilted cloth and steel plate can be crafted. And then infected bile and the wolf blood can be found at the Southern Bosses. I will show you right now where. 
So let's head on to our first location, which is the hole. And that's where you'll find the Trashman's brother. And that's where you find your infected bile. There's plenty of guide videos on how to kill the southern bosses. So feel free to browse the YouTube for some guide videos. So let's head on to our next location, which is the forest grave. And this is where you find the wolf blood. And like I already mentioned, there's plenty of guide videos on YouTube on how to kill the wolves. So let's see how does the backpack actually work. So I have 18 flasks of water with me. Now you'll see when my thirst gets to 20, it will automatically use the water in my backpack and it goes up to 60. The empty flask remains in my backpack. So I'll be able to go back to my home location and refill it. So the next backpack is the radio backpack. Now it allows you to listen to radio signals with a 25% chance of hearing where a stash is hidden. The stash they refer to is actually the location which can be opened using the Georgia treasure map. But when you do have the backpack, you put it on every five hours and it gives you a 25% chance of that location to open up for you. Now keep in mind it is 25%. So it did take me about two, three tries before it actually opened up that location. So let's head on to the location and see what treasure awaits us. So this backpack is a legendary backpack, same as the hydration one, and you can craft it at the sheriff's office. Now three of the items can be crafted. The can of red paint can be found at the airdrop, and then as for the bile and the wolf blood, you already saw in the video, you can obtain those at the southern bosses. So our next backpack is the trekking backpack, or what I like to call it the travel one. So it increases movement speed on the global map and it reduces energy costs for moving around the global map. Now I do use it quite a lot and I would advise for people to actually make it. This is what it looks like on. So let's see how it actually works. So I have taken the backpack off. And let's just test it out. So let's say we want to go to the supermarket. So let's see how much of energy it will cost us. So to drive is 19, to run 21 and to walk it's 17 minutes. So now that we will put the backpack on, let's see how much are we saving. When the backpack is on, you're guaranteed to save 25% of travel. And yep, the drive is 19, run is 15, and then the walk is only 12 minutes. Now you craft the backpack at the sheriff's office. Three of the items can be either found in the loot or crafted. Now the can of orange paint can be found at the airdrop. And then the infected vial and the wolf blood can be found at the southern bosses. 
Now I do recommend this backpack as I do use it all the time. Now our next backpack is the Assault Backpack. It increases the firearm damage by 10%. It not only is a very nice backpack to own, it looks quite nice on too. So I will put it on and show you what it looks like on. So the Assault Backpack cannot be crafted in the game, but you can purchase it from the in-game store. Now if you go down to your Equipment tab, you will find the Assault Backpack there. Now it comes with the backpack itself and a 9mm Pesto 3 star and a reinforced jacket. So let's get on to the fun part and test out the backpack. So I took a variety of weapons with me just to test it out. Um, I took some bomb action firearms, I took some small arms, long guns, blunt, throw in and um, the, bla the bladed ones. So just to kind of show you exactly how does the backpack work because the backpack doesn't work on all types of weapons. So I took them all with me and headed on to our boss bear just to test it out. So let's start off with the pump action firearm and this one is called the Dance of Death. So first I will use it without putting on the backpack. So it does 42 damage here and I will test it out again. So it's done 41 damage, 42. So without the backpack, it does 41, 42 damage. Now with the backpack, it's 45, 46. So that's your 10% increase. Let's test out another pump action firearm, which is the shotgun. So without the bag, it does 28 damage. And then with the backpack, it does 31, 32. So I'm guessing without the backpack, it does 20, 29. With the backpack, it does 31, 32. Now let's try out another shotgun. So without the backpack, it does 15, 16 damage. And now with the backpack, it does 17, 18. So it went from 15, 16 to 17, 18. Of course, I have to test out the newest shotgun, which is the Fortune one. And you can obtain that from the mayor's shop in the river village by exchanging crystals. So without the backpack, the damage was 90, 91. Now with the backpack, it is 99 and 100. So now let's take our next one, which is a bladed weapon and it's a katana. So let's test it out. So the damage did not increase, so the backpack does not work on bladed weapons. So now let's test out a throw-in weapon and I'm going to use crossbow to do that. So 
Yep, so you can see with the backpack the damage is the same at 26-27, so it did not increase it on throw-in weapons. So now let's test out a blunt weapon. So the damage there is at 47-46. Now let's put on the backpack and yep, yeah, still 47 and 46. So it does not work on blunt weapons either. So now let's test out the long guns. So the damage is at 22-23 without using the backpack. So let's put the backpack on and yep the damage is increased it's gone up to 25 so it does work on the long guns now let's move on to small arms see if the backpack works on them So the damage dealt is 2323. Two, now we'll put the backpack on and the damage is still 2323. Two, so it doesn't work on the small arms. I do own this backpack and I use it all the time and one of the main reasons is because I do use the bolt rifle quite a lot and I have been using a lot of the shotguns recently and especially the new ones that I have been purchasing at the mayor shop so this backpack works wonderfully for me as a player if you are not that type of a player and you use more of the bladed weapons or throwing weapons this bag might not be for you but for me it works great and it is up it is your own choice whether or not you want to purchase the bag or not but i do hope that the video is showing exactly how the backpack works and helps you make your decision so let's move on to our final backpack and that is our med backpack so this backpack has two perks first perk is the injector the injector will activate when your infection level hits 100 and it will immediately bring it down to a zero. The healing perk will activate when your health reaches 20. It will boost your health by 60 over 5 seconds. Now if you read about the bag in the game it says over 5 minutes. That's wrong. It actually works over 5 seconds. So once your health is at 20 it will boost your health by 60 over five seconds this is what the backpack looks like on so the backpack works only once every two hours so you can wear this backpack every two hours and it will based on your health and infection levels at that time it will either use the injector or heal you the med backpack cannot be crafted in the game you can buy it from the in-game store under equipment the backpack comes with six antidotes and three first aid kits so now let's have a look and see how does the backpack work so what i will trigger now is the injector so i need to get my infection level up to 100 now it's hit 100 and the injector has worked and my infection level did go down to zero now you could barely see it going down to zero, but it did. It's just because I was still being attacked by the infectious zombies. So let's test out the second perk, which is the health one. So I need to get my HP down to 20 and see if I get 60 HP over five seconds. So here you can see my health was down to 20 and the heal perk was activated we've come to the end of the video and i hope that you did find it useful and there was enough information about the backpacks so when you do have to pick a backpack you pick the right one for you now thank you for watching and thank you guys for all the likes and subscribes and yeah i will see you in my next one bye